Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Nkenna. I am responsible for everything happening on this page. Today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing on this unit that I'm wearing right now. This is the Free Trust Mizzy unit. As you guys can see, I did not stick to my comfort zone. I did get something with color and this is gonna be like my fourth or fifth um, balayage ombre blonde unit. I'm taking a ride on the wild side, um, but I think this is gonna be my last one for a while. I did get this in a color SOH627613. I'll make sure that I have all the important information down in the description box below. This unit is heat safe up to 400 degrees, so if for any reason you wanted to flat iron this or put bigger or tighter curls in this, you definitely can do that. This unit has a deep invisible part, so just keep that in mind. And then on the bottom of the information card, it includes all the other colors you can find this unit in as well as care instructions on the back. So taking a look underneath the unit, you guys can see that there are two combs on the perimeter of this unit. And then at the bottom, there is an additional comb as well as adjustable straps on both sides. So straight out of the package, this is what this unit looks like. And I'm just going to go ahead and say that a lot of people ask me, is this unit big head friendly? Um, and I'm going to just go out on a limb here and say that it's not. It's fitting snugly to my head. However, when I was adjusting it and trying to pull it onto my head, then the lace just split all the way up. So it does come with that customary amount of lace. However, it ripped um, the whole time I was trying to put it on my head. Even though I'm wearing this as a middle part, I just kind of pulled it on my head and then I noticed it was ripping. This is actually a side part and it is a deep invisible kind of curved part. And then as you guys can see, it comes with those customary like heavily starched curls just straight out of the box. If you guys can already tell from my body language, I'm honestly not really a fan of this. I feel like the ombre is really messy and just all over the place. This isn't an ombre. These are highlights. Highlights and lowlights. This is all over the place. It's looking a little wild and crazy. Um, but as always, I will come to you guys at the very end with all of my thoughts, comments, concerns, and all that good jazz at the very end of the video. Just to give you guys a closer look right here at the edge of the unit, there's like this um, thick black fabric here and it gets really thick as the parting space ends. So I just wanted to point that out to you because that's something, just an extra step. You can't really tweeze it out. It's on the underneath portion of the unit, but it goes from like this natural scalp to super black fabric. So you guys, this is the finished look. As always, I went in with my black radiance, light to medium contour, true complexion contour kit. That's a lot to say. Um, I went in with this and I took the contour shade and I just dab that in with a flat angle brush onto the parting space. As I said earlier, I'm not a major fan of this random yellow power streak on both sides and then even throughout. It just looks kind of sloppy and honestly I wish they would have left it out because this did have potential but that yellow is just throwing it off for me. In terms of the way this unit was curled, it's not very uniform. It's just curled in all different directions and it's a lot going on. Um, so that's another thing for me. I, I, I don't like the way that it's curled. I feel like it could have done been done in a a neater fashion. Just as a reference point, my belly button is right here and resting it is above my belly button. However, stretched out it is hitting the tops of my hips and I'm five foot nine. Even in person, just tucking the bang behind my ear, it does make a difference with this yellow power streak. However, in person you can also see more of the yellow because there's a bit on this side and there's some even over here. Um, so I, I'm just not a fan of the yellow. I kind of just I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm i trying to think of how to say this, but I would have preferred that if it was just uniform, like one color with the balayage, I would have appreciated that more. And I think honestly, this is going to be like my last like blondish ombre balayage unit for a while, just because I have like five units like this now. And I think that's overkill. In terms of the luster on this unit, it is shiny. However, it doesn't look like plastic. It's just shiny because I think that has a lot to do with the color of the unit. It's a lighter color, so it brings more attention to um, the luster of the unit. In terms of shedding, this is all I got from brushing it out, which isn't too bad because with curly hair, you do typically expect a lot more shedding, but that's just to show you guys how much I got, if it will focus. So yeah, that is all that I have for you guys. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the coloring on this unit. It could work for somebody. I just think that it looks kind of sloppy and just like, I don't know, it wasn't strategically placed. It was just thrown everywhere. So that is all that I have for you guys. If you guys did find this helpful, definitely click that subscribe and that like button. And then most importantly, share this with somebody that you think would find this helpful. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I just said that. Um, and yeah, I will catch you guys next time. Bye.